Wow, the new Shang-Chi trailer dropped today, and boy did we get a lot of new details about the upcoming Marvel Studios film. So I thought, what a great time to break down the new trailer, talk about some of the new details we got, and maybe where this movie is headed. Now, before we dive in, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, and ring the bell for all the updates. Also, don't forget about the big giveaway. We're going to give away this PlayStation 5 at 25,000 subscribers. All you have to do to get in on the giveaway is be a subscriber and leave a comment. Well, Marvel hit us with a bit of a surprise today. Now, earlier today, Simi Liu dropped a new poster for Shang-Chi, which got everybody's attention. At least those that were awake and not as people on the West Coast. Now, this poster release tied to a trailer coming soon. But, since it was Simi Liu's birthday today, Marvel Studios decided to drop the teaser trailer. Now, this teaser trailer is pretty much what you would expect. There's a lot of short chops of little scenes so we get tidbits of what's going on. We get a lot of details about Shang and his life, as well as a big reveal on several villains, as well as the Ten Rings. Now, it's pretty clear from this trailer, Shang-Chi has somewhat of a normal life. This works pretty good for superhero origin stories. We do find out in the trailer, he is the son of the Mandarin, and that clearly draws him back into some conflict revolving around the Ten Rings. Now, as many of you know, the Mandarin is typically an Iron Man foe. We do get quite a few Shang-Chi villains in this initial trailer. Probably the biggest two being Death Dealer and Razor Fist. Now we get a short fight sequence with Razor Fist on a train. So I'm not too sure how much he's in the movie. But if you notice closely, when Semi Lu's getting off that helicopter, he's walking with him. So I'm sure it's more than just one scene. The other big Shang-Chi villain has to be Death Dealer. Based on the trailer, it appears Death Dealer actually trained Shang in the ways of Kung Fu, which is pretty interesting and quite a change to the traditional origin story. The other big detail we got some confirmation on, and we're just going to break out into a whole separate video here over the next week, is the Ten Rings themselves. Now we speculated about a week ago these rings would not be the traditional finger rings worn by the Mandarin in the comics, but forearm rings much like the training rings used in Kung Fu. We got a couple of short clips in that trailer that seemed to indicate that was true, including what appeared to be Wen Wu charged up using those rings to smash up a table. He also appears to be confronting some monks and maybe some mystical creatures in one part of the trailer, with the rings pulling energy up his arms. It's unclear if these will be the traditional ten rings from the comics or it is a full reimagining. Obviously they've done some changes with the physical form, but now the powers are the question. Now overall, this was a really good action movie trailer. Simi Liu really can move, and the kung fu in the trailer was great. Marvel's previous martial arts outing, Iron Fist, didn't have a single scene that was as good as what we saw in the trailer. The movie's coming our way in September, so obviously we're going to get a couple more trailers before then, so we're going to bring that to you right away. But I gotta know what you guys thought. Did you like this first teaser trailer for Shang-Chi? And what was your favorite part of the trailer? I mean... Everybody has a favorite. Sound off in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you press like, click subscribe, and if you don't ring the bell, you ain't getting any updates.